Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, my friends. We're on the third episode and I'm recording this one straight after the second episode, which is something I've not done in any game for a long time. So uh, yeah, I really am having a lot of fun with this game and I hope you guys are as well. So if you're excited for the episode, do be sure to keep dropping them like ratings, my friends. Best way to let me know if you guys want to continue seeing more. Now, we are over here since the last episode. I've gone ahead and I have gotten myself a whole bunch of materials. I've leveled myself up a couple of times, but... But, uh, what I haven't done is spent engram points. Now, as you can see, we have 17 engram points, meaning we have ranked up, uh, I believe, twice. So, that's pretty cool. I decided to increase my carry weight to 130, in addition to getting some more melee damage. So, yeah, things are looking good, my friends. Things are looking good. So, let's go ahead and make some decisions as to what kind of things we want to unlock. So... Storage box, that would be a pretty good one to go for, would it not? A slingshot, which is basically uh, a basic ranged weapon, so we can, like, literally throw stones at people. And apparently, according to this, it uh, knocks people out, so I might go for the slingshot as a guaranteed thing. So check this out, the, the Fiomia? 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 I don't know. It's a saddle, basically, which can be placed upon a, an animal which has that name, so yeah. So in addition to that, we also have the ability to make all of this stuff, like a wooden club, a standing torch. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I want that. I really want that. Okay, so how much do we have left? Okay, so we can't get any more that require six. We can get some that require three, though. So spark powder? Uh, hmm. Don't think that's going to be too useful, although it may be. Created by grinding flint with stone uh, requires... It doesn't really say what it does, though. Hmm. Okay. Right, do you know what? I think we're okay with what we have. I'm going to try and save up my engram points now because I really want to try and get some of those other things. So, me, me fire has gone out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the charcoal out of it because why not? I, I, I'd like to hope that the charcoal is used for something later down the line. But so guys, today we are going to be starting off by making a base. It's that time, guys. We're going to make a base and everything is going to be fan-freaking-tastic. It looks like the sun is about to start coming up as well, which is very, very cool. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So the question is, where do we want to set up a base? Apparently, I'm hot as well. <laughs> Ladies, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jeez, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, I really want to try and find a decent place to make a base. There is um, That is a flying bird. I... Don't know if that's hostile or not, if I'm honest with you guys. I don't know if I want to mess around with it. I'm kind of thinking that this place here might be a kind of decent place to set up. Uh, let's have a look. So if we press 5. Ah, look at this, guys. We could, in actual fact, should we, like, do this? We'll have quite a nice view if we set up here. And obviously, we've got the beacon way over there, right? So that's kind of cool. So what if I do that? Uh, boom. There we go. Uh, can I, like, place another one right next to it? Oh! <gasps> I can! Guys, check this out! We have a basic platform for making houses. Okay, so let's bring out number six, which is the walls. Uh, right. Where do we want the entrance? I'm almost thinking the entrance should be maybe at the side here or something. I mean, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I really don't like those birds flying around, man. I've, I've just got a bad feeling about them. I really, really do. Right, okay. So there's a wall... Uh, oh, okay, so you have to keep pressing the numbers to, like, keep selecting things. So, let's get ourselves another one. There we go. Alright, so that's all the walls placed down, my friends. Now, if we press number seven, we have ourselves a door frame. So, let's place this bad boy down. Look at this, guys. We're making a freaking base! Oh, man. I'm super excited about this. Okay, uh, press number eight. We've got ourselves a door. Uh, oh, look at that. Dude, this is awesome! This is legit the first ever time I've made a base in Ark Survival Evolved. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Right, so, uh, oh wow, these are, uh, eh. Oh, I, I want this to, eh, over there. There we go, okay. And, uh, can I get another one going? So I can, like, finish this off, right? It would make sense. Hello? Is that done it? Dude, this is sick! I've actually got a base here! Holy crap! Okay, dudes, 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 we've got to go and check out if we can make ourselves... <gasps> oh, we can make a sleeping bag, guys. I'm going to make that. I'm going to chuck it down in here because if we die in future, we could just respawn in our bed. How dare, man? Dude, 
dudes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I got my first ever thing going on here. Right, boom. Uh, press 5, and you can go on the ground like... Uh, uh, get uh, down there. <gasps> oh my god! Fast travel? Wait, I can fast travel? Are you kidding? That's awesome. Okay, uh, what else gonna do? Rename sleeping bag, pick up sleeping bag, demolish, drops items if you fast travel. Ah, that's interesting to know. Okay, and um, we got ourselves a level up, guys, which means if we really wanted to, we could get ourselves some storage crates. Do you know what? I'm kind of tempted to, actually. I really, really am. So, let's get ourselves a storage box, and we have seven left. We can actually get ourselves another uh, six-point engram unlocked. We have a blood extraction syringe. Use this on a human to extract their blood for transfusion. What? Requires chitin. Oh, man, I don't have that. Okay, uh, a simple bed. Thatch may not make the most comfortable mattress, but this bed acts as a respawn point for you and your tribe. Okay, so it's kind of like a more permanent thing, isn't it? So what else do we have? We've got ourselves a wooden club. We've got these things now over here. A bowler, a parasaur saddle, a paintbrush, a wooden club. Easily made melee weapon that's excellent for knocking out targets. Only effective at short range. It only requires four points. I'm tempted to go for this thing because this seems like some sort of crafting station. Pestle and mortar. The simple stone contraption can be used to grind resources into new substances. That sounds pretty good. We'll get that. We'll get that. But look at this, guys. Increases your health. If we, for our next level up, it would be pretty cool if we could unlock the narcotic. Which I think, yeah, as you can see, yeah. I'm seeing at the side over there. Requires narco berries and spoiled meat. So, pretty useful. Increases your health but puts you to sleep. Oh, that sounds a bit weird. I'm not sure about that one, my friends. Right, anyways. uh, Can I make a wood? Uh... What? Storage, engra- Oh crap, I don't even need wood. Do you want No. You son of a gun. It's that freaking bird I was telling you guys about. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm killing you so hard. No! Ah, God! Stout? Wait, he stole my Azul bear? Oh, crap. I can't even get back into my house. I didn't make a ramp of any description. What the crap? I can't get in. I can't get in my own house. Hey, buddy, come here, come here, come here. Come here. <gasps> oh, my God, I hit it. I killed it with one spear throw. What the crap? <laughs> Oh my god! Let's go! Ah, oh, 34 raw meat as well, guys. Hell yeah! Yeah, I know. I, I was actually pooing myself through like that. Like, I really didn't want to die. Legit. How do I make stairs? I want to be able to make stairs. Is there like an actual way to make stairs? If I go into my engrams real quick, uh, is there like a staircase? Uh... Sloped, uh, we've got a sloped roof. There doesn't appear to be any kind of ramp of any description. Maybe we just need to place down another foundation, right? Uh, I mean, I'm down to give that a go. Alrighty, guys, so I decided to go for a different solution instead. I decided to extend my base over this way, and as you can see, I can actually get in it now, which is brilliant. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Oh, I actually crafted too many walls. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't matter too much. Right. Uh, thatch foundation. Uh, do you know what? I actually didn't want to do that. Can I like cancel it? Cancel. There we go. Clear queue. Why? Why? Why did that do that? That's weird. Right. Anyways, uh, we want to get this on. Hey, there we go, guys. Maybe I'm just not used to things, but uh, I found that a lot more difficult than I probably should have done, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, look at this, guys. We can actually make ourselves a storage box now. I'm super hyped about this, actually. So, we have ourselves a level up as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do melee damage. 
So, you know, again, why not? And look at this, guys. We now have 15 engram points. We can go and get ourselves a bunch of stuff. So, narcotic is going to be one of them. Simple bed, uh, single panel flag. Nah. Uh, paintbrush, small crop plot. Ooh. Carbonemis? Car Carbonemis? How oh, the heck do you pronounce that? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh dear, but I'm kind of tempted to have this man with a fence to keep out vermin. I'm going to get the small crop plot. I mean, if we can get ourselves a little farm going, that'd be pretty freaking sick, actually. I mean, I'm down for that. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm not down for it. Get out of it. I mean, we've got all the spare building material. I just don't need it, man. Right, boom. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at this, guys. We got ourselves a chest. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm super happy about this. We've got spoiled meat. We've got ourselves all these narco berries. I could make myself some narcotics if I needed to. But at the moment, I don't really need to. So in the meantime, I think all I'm going to do is organize my inventory and then uh, just see what else we can do. <laughs> yeah. There we go, guys. I just placed down one of those standing torches. Yeah! This is awesome, dudes! I can't believe it! We've got our very first base going on, guys! <laughs> awesome! I'm actually really happy about this. I'm really hoping that that won't, like, like break this or set it on fire, because that would be a bit embarrassing, it has to be said. But you know what? I'm feeling pretty good all in all. Honestly, this is absolutely amazing. Like, we've made a lot of progress today, my friend. Wait, what the heck? You're dehydrated. Ah, oh, crap! Uh, right, uh, we need to get ourselves one of those, uh, things. Let me just, uh, head in here real quick. Uh, we need... Let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, armor, miscellaneous. There we go. Water skin. That's what we needed, because we managed to lose that when we lost everything in the last episode. We urgently, urgently need it. So, let's go ahead and put that on our hot bar. And then, the good thing about this base is it's right next to water. So, you know, it's a win-win, boys. It's a win-win. Right. Uh, I just need some of this. There we go. Yeah, we're looking good, guys. We're looking good. Our dehydration is gone, but we are still hot. So, yeah, that's a thing. But I'm feeling pretty good, my friends. Made a good amount of uh, progress so far in today's episode. So, the next thing... Oh, what is that? What is that? That looks very close by. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Could that potentially be one of the loot chest things? I mean, if it is, that's pretty badass, right? So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brave it, okay? I'm going to brave it. And we'll see what we can do, all right? So here we go. We're heading into the jungle. Into the jungle. Right. Ho! Oh! Who goes there? Oh, there's a tiny little raptor thing trying to get me. What the hell is this? Oh! <gasps> What is that? Dude, I want to get a better view of it. Can I, like, get on top of this tree? What the hell is this? I want to get on top. Come on, man. Let me get on top. I really want to see what this is. I'm trying to, like, get a better view. Hey! Took my hide, you sneaky bugger. Hey, where'd he go? Sir? Supply crate. Requires level 15 to open. Ah oh, man! I can't do anything because I'm not level 15. What level actually am I then? Uh, level, level, level? I don't actually know. You know, I never actually figured out how to check which level you are. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh no! Uh, Python? Oh, level 10. Okay, so we need five more levels and then we can actually open that supply crate. Well, that's just a bunch of poo, man. Why would you... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Bed. Ah, oh, there we go. That was a doofus death, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that, guys. Thatch floor. Uh, insufficient resources to repair. Oh, okay. So you need to repair your thing before you go out. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. The convenience of a sleeping bag has just made itself prevalent right here, guys. There we go. 
uh, hold E, axe as inventory, and boom. There we go. Well, let's let's get rid of this. We, we don't need all these skins. There we go. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. And obviously, I can go ahead. This is slightly morbid, but you can actually harvest your own body <laughs> for me. It's absolutely disgusting, but, you know, it is what it is, isn't it, guys? It's just, it just is. It just is what it is. Right, uh, weapons. How do I make a slingshot? We need hide and some fiber. Okay, both of those things are fairly easily obtained, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put my pickaxe away. We're going to grab ourselves a whole bunch of fibers, uh, right? whole bunch of fibers, all right? Uh, let's get this. 46 fibers looking good right now. We need some hide. Is there like a dodo or something in the water that I can kill real quick? I have no idea. Maybe we should have a quick look around see if there's anything to kill <laughs> Get wrecked son. Yeah, right which one gives more hide? I believe it's the hatchet that gives more hide. Yeah, there we go That's what I'm looking for the more hide the better Wow, that's a pretty substantial amount. Eight, uh, 79 even. Uh, so now we can go ahead and we can replenish our bed. And also, hopefully, uh, you know, make ourselves the the slingshot as well. Because, uh, you know, that was one of my other goals. So let us get over here and see what happens. Alrighty, guys. Here we are back in action. And I've gone ahead and I've basically gathered up a whole bunch of materials. Uh, including, you know, a new bed. I've got myself a brand new bed, which is pretty sweet. But uh, the thing that I... I'm going to be making, of course, is the slingshot. I've got all of the materials needed, wood, hide, and fiber. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves our first proper ranged weapon. The spear can be classed as both a melee and a ranged weapon, right? Because it can do both. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Right, in the meantime, uh, I just want to quickly check this. I don't know Tinto Berry Seed. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of seeds and whatnot. So, like, I'm kind of just tempted. I'm going to put the seed in there because why not? And also, we have quite a lot of meat in here. Like, quite a lot of meat. <laughs> like, probably too much meat, to be honest with you guys. Right, so, there we go, my friends. We've got ourselves a base. We've got ourselves... A slingshot, which is pretty cool. Is there... I want to, like, maybe just grab some stone or something. Uh, if I use this... Okay, so I use a hatchet and I get myself a stone a lot more than flint. So if I use the pickaxe, I would get myself a whole bunch of, uh, you know, flint. So, yeah, this is kind of cool because it means we're getting ourselves a lot of ammo for our slingshot. Wow. Whoa. How long is this going to be going on for? Holy crap. Good lord above. I thought I thought it would never end. I thought we would just have an endless amount of stone coming out of that. Wow, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? Right. I don't need that. I don't need that. And ladies and gentlemen, we have leveled up. Heck yeah, buddy. No, it's not I. I mean, it's not L. It's I. Right. I'm um, tempted to go for melee damage again because I kind of want to just start working on getting a little bit more buff. You know? I think that'd be a cool idea. Stimulant keeps you awake but dehydrates you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, right. We need to we need to get over here real quick. We need to get ourselves some water up in here. Uh, eh? There we go. Yeah, we're back to normal, guys. Fantastic. Right, anyways, uh, let's go back to the engrams. I want to see what else I can do. So, we are now rank 11. Learn on Scorched Earth. Okay, cool. Uh, we can make ourselves a wooden base if we wanted to. That's pretty interesting. Uh, stone arrow. A bow! Ooh! That's pretty cool. It requires 11 slots, though. And a stone arrow. Well, maybe me making the slingshot was completely unnecessary. Hey, dudes, we've got to check out how to make this thing. Uh, we can actually get the bow. Uh, so how does one make the ammo? Ammo, there we go. Stone arrow. Uh, craft one, craft all, 16. Okay, so by crafting 16, I should actually be able to make myself... Yeah, there we go. Lots and lots and lots, basically. I'm pretty glad that uh, they took into consideration, you know, crafting speeds for smaller things like ammo. That's really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Right. Uh, wow, this is amazing, though, guys. Right, let's go ahead and put the water skin over here. Things are looking good. Uh, I think I'm going to split the stack in half and then put that in there. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, right, I need to rid stuff. Can I, like, dismantle it? 
Transfer? No. Azulberry seeds. We've got all of these freaking things here. Spoiled meat. All these skins. Tempted to just chuck these things. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that. I mean, look at this. I can, I can put so much other more useful stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, guys, there we go. Let's get this thing out. Whoa. That's pretty nuts. Wow. How much damage does it actually do? Does it give, like, a numeric amount? Weight 7, weapon damage 100%. Oh, mate. I'm tempted to have a bit of a nosy round and see if I can, you know, kill someone with my bow to finish off the episode. Eh? That'd be a cool idea, wouldn't it? Alright, let's see what we can find. Oh! Hello. Oh, come on! Let's get some headshot damage going! This guy is level 6. How are you not dead yet? It is unknown to science how you are not taken out of the game yet. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to try and do instead. Can I... Can I knock you out? Come on. Get KO'd. Get KO'd. I want to tame you. I want to tame a freaking turtle, dude. Mom, it's a female, actually, so yeah. Wow, how many... Wow. This guy can take a beating. Ha-boom. Okay, are you actually going to get KO'd anytime soon? Huh, this is interesting. So we've got our supply crate beam here. Previously, it required rank 15, but check this out, guys. I can get into it. And this is what there is here. There's basically like a kit so I can build myself another house. That's actually really cool. It's given me an entire another kit. <laughs> hey, man. No complaints coming from me whatsoever, guys. No complaints at all. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Like, I could just make myself another base. Where oh, wherever I wanted. Uh, buddy? You're not hostile, are you? Please don't be hostile. I'm trying to stick to the rocks. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I don't think he's hostile. Either that or I didn't get with an aggro range. Right, let's just check out the old uh, campfire real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. A whole bunch of foodstuffs. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Right, can I, like, stack these together? Uh, apparently not. Weird. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much, guys. Doesn't matter too much. But I'll tell you something. I am definitely happy with the progress that we have made in today's episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that very same note, it is going to be time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode and, of course, you're excited to see more Ark Survival Evolved content, do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating. It would be super appreciated. Best way by far of letting me know if you want to continue seeing more. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And of course, head down to the comments area. Leave me any hints, tips, and suggestions for future episodes. And, you know, in regards to ARK in general. And yeah, that'll do, my friends. We have ourselves a base. We've got ourselves a nice little little homeland here. And i got to tell you, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It really is. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.